Okay, hello guys, and welcome back. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be more active, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so we're looking at these thunderstorms right here. Um, ro uh, rolling in these up here are mainly not producing any thunder, uh, or lightning, of course. Um, and these ones down here are starting to uh, produce a little bit, um, so that's good. Uh, but way down here, we've got these... Uh, big ones uh, starting to develop and these are going to be the real severe threat for the, these areas we're going to kind of be the uh, the guy on the edge if you know what I mean like it's kind of going to be like uh, we barely get anything but there's always that chance uh, of a stray one coming through and like I said these are definitely going to hit but it's looking like there's a chance for something to develop behind it and this is eventually going to push stuff north, so you never know. Um, but it's a really interesting setup we have here today, and uh, so there's the chances there for sure. Um, so let's move on to the forecast. Um, well, first let me look at this radar down here. Um, so we've got, this is a multicellular storm, and then these are these uh, pulse storms setting up down in here, but these are eventually all going to be multicellular even the slight risk for supercells and a very small chance of tornadoes, especially in this yellow area. So we'll just have to see. Uh, so here's the forecast. Um, so for Greenville, North Carolina, this is a new one I got. Um, convective mode uh, is multi-cell. Uh, so your setup is you got 5 shear out of 10, 4 instability out of 10, 7 lift out, uh, out of 10, and then 7 moisture out of 10. That's a pretty good setup. You might not know what all that means, but basically lift is going to come from the frontal boundaries. Moisture is going to be like dew point and stuff like that. Instability is uh, stuff we call cape, and shear is just bulk shear and all that stuff. And then we got three, 3 out of 10 chance for a tornado in the entire day, I'd say, <laughs> everywhere. Um, so very small chance there. Um, hail. 5 out of 10. Hail and wind is the biggest threat. That's usually how it is here. Just tail and wind or just wind and just tail. Something like that. But I'm thinking for our... Well, I'm going to have one of these for my area coming up. So don't you worry. Um, but <clears throat> so equal chance of hail or wind. Um, and then uh, flooding. That's going to be a more isolated thing. Uh, so if you get big cells, uh, you might get like two to three inches of rain, maybe even more. That's what would cause flooding isolated like that. So this is Virginia Beach. We've got six shear, three instability, five lift, and six moisture. That's just a little bit less of everything. And then tornadoes, three. We're still looking at three tornadoes because the shear is actually, there's more shear up here. So if we did get a stray storm, there's actually a better chance for tornadoes here. But it's still really, really slight and there, it's the same amount of chance for tornadoes as there is with your everyday storm. So, really no big deal. Um, then hail, four, wind, three. And remember, those were both five for Greenville. So, we're really looking at a smaller chance. And then four, flooding. It's the same just because there's the same chance for heavy rain. It's just that the severe attributes aren't going to be as good. Uh, and then let's look at that so, uh, severe risk map looking at marginal up into our area. Noah has the marginal cutoff here I really like to pull it up here just because like I said these storms are coming through and then there might be some that uh, develop behind it or even come up north so I'm not gonna uh, get rid of that chance there's definitely a chance and then the slight areas right here um, I would have extend I would probably extend it down here if I had the chance now but too late now Anyway, no five-day forecast today, um, but or seven-day forecast, but I am going to um, post that to the Facebook page as soon as I'm done with this video. And then maybe I'll do, so if there's a, looks like there's going to be a bad cell coming through, I'll make a video real quick and upload it to the Facebook page too. Again, uh, we're getting, we're approaching 500 likes, so go ahead and share this on your Facebook, and then if you're on YouTube, go ahead and share this on your Facebook also. Um, Facebook page, if you're on YouTube, is in the uh, description. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.